Okay, what you really want to see is the XS708T, the Netgear, that's closer to $1,000, right up with the Ubiquiti Edge Switch. So let's have a look at the physical design of both. They're both, of course, one U rack mountable and the same width, actually. This edge is lined up. This edge is a little narrower for the Netgear. And on the back, you'll see the Ubiquiti Edge Switch is a little bit deeper. All right, back to the front. How do the two compare? Let's have a look. No boots came, no rubber boots to cover the SFP plus ports on the Netgear. All right, now let's plug them in, take a look at what the lights look like and the noise. Now they're both gonna make quite a bit of noise at first power up here, I imagine. So far, no noise from the edge, edge switch. Took a little while to boot, came up. My impression is uh, the fan is not bad. Let me have the other one boot as well. So the initial impression is very strong that the net gear is a lot louder. Now I'm going to set this up in my decibel measuring table that I've done previous with a previous video for the net gear. Uh, I'll need to do the same thing with the edge switch. I have not had a chance to do that yet. I'm actually using this stuff for a Xeon D cluster, perhaps a vSAN demo at VMworld, and I happen to play in only three days. So very short time for me to get to know this switch, but really there's not a whole lot to a managed switch other than, I don't know, setting up an NTP time source if you want the clock for the log files to be all right. Um, I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm basically just plugging in three RJ45s to three different servers, and a fourth server gets an SFP connection. That's all I really need. So frankly, a smaller switch and even more affordable would be desirable for a home lab. Thanks for watching and for visiting Tinkerdry.com.